We live? We're live. Hello. Welcome. Dylan. And Ben. Live from Santa Rosa, California. Yay. That's right. I'm a little frustrated right now. Rightfully so. Uh, we just got done with a long Instagram live. Don't buy cheap Amazon radiators. <laughs> I bought it because a couple people said it would work and I decided to chance it. So, hi Ethan, how you doing bud? Um, decided to try out a cheap Amazon radiator because I had a couple good reviews and figured if it doesn't work, then, um, then I will make a video about it. And here I am making a video about how not to buy cheap <laughs> Amazon radiators. So I've been having a lot of over, I mean, hang on, let me wipe this camera off. So I've been having, a, I gotta look at the camera. It's hard, hard not to look at myself. Um, <clears throat> been having a lot of problems with overheating lately, and so uh, I've changed the thermostat, the water pump, fan clutch, and all of this has started after buying the new radiator. So I feel like we've pretty much narrowed it down to the radiator. I think so. And so we went to, I called, by the way, I'm from San Diego, right? So I was up here shooting a wedding. I think some of you know that I do wedding video. I was up shooting a wedding in Clear Lake, the clearest of them all. A beautiful lake, <laughs> great people. Um, and uh, decided, you know, I hit up Ben because if you watch season three, three, yep, you would remember Ben. We met him at Antelope Canyon on our way to Overland Expo. Met up with him at Expo. We went to Death Valley together. Get ready. Uh, we're actually those videos are coming out soon. You guys uh, have been doing all the posts on that. It's ready to go. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, sir. You've probably seen him on Instagram if we've uh, if you follow us on Instagram. So I was overheating extra bad today. So decided to ask. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, hey, what's up, man? You get what you pay for. <laughs> yes, you definitely get what you pay for. Um, don't buy cheap stuff. And part of the reason why I bought it, like I said, is so that if it doesn't work, I can make a video about how not to do it. And now here we are. Use me. You just thought that you were gonna make a video like at your house, not yes. for. Just called me. I don't know. If oh, we're live. Okay. Definitely thought I was gonna be doing this at home, not 400 miles away. But here I am making a video telling you not to make oh. my mistakes. That's part of what we do here at Trailbenders. Um, so, hang out with Ben. We got some Mexican food, it was pretty good. Uh, ben does some cool computer stuff, setting up wireless networks and fixing computers and actually will. Yeah, you're that checking out my new place. It, yeah. We had a good calm Dude. Sunday. We're going back into town. Cruising. Dylan comes over the radio beers. like I'm getting a little, we're getting a little warm here in the Forerunner. Yeah. So we yeah, start taking it easy, drive straight to the Auto Zone, mm -hmm. <laughs> pick up the radiator because he says hi. Uh, dude says hi, Ben. Hey. So we, uh, or sorry, I'm tired. I'm getting lost. <laughs> you, can, if you watched my last live, you know that it's I'm. It's been pretty, a long day. A long day, and I'm a little overworked. Oh. Um, so I call a bunch of Auto Zones. Who's got it? I don't got it, they don't got it, we don't got it. They have it, so I called them over there. And they set it aside for me. Said they, I said, I'll be there before you close. I was there when I said I was. It's right over here, there's the new one. Ben and I just got the old one. Old radiator successfully removed. Yep. Backyard project, Very nice quick. Yeah, right, right. Get out the right, box. Right. Start sure. taking out the radiator. There All right, time to put this new baby in the Forerunner. Hang on, let me turn the camera around. Looking at it. Oh, these studs are a little different. Maybe it mounts differently. Yeah, you well, know? these are these it's definitely look different. Though, so we'll see. Yeah, Duralast we'll should be good. Up here and what? What? That's not D quite right. That's not quite That's not right. The right one. That's not the right one. Ask the folks of AutoZone why your radiator is. Two-thirds the size now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's high performance. <laughs> yeah, it's extra uh, efficient. Extra third of our dynamic little foils in there. Yeah. But I don't think so because it doesn't fit at all. <laughs> I think the they right may one. have sold you the wrong radiator. In fact, and, 
We called to confirm. We did. This cute little radiator belongs in a Chevy HHR. If you know what a Chevy HHR is, <laughs> you know it's not going to function with the 4Runner. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no AutoZones have this thing in stock. I got to be back in San Diego tomorrow, and I really don't want to overheat. Uh, especially in LA traffic. Uh, yes, I overheat at low RPMs. It's really backwards. But I couldn't believe you could oh, you could drive highway, but you couldn't drive like yeah. the quarter mile from the highway <laughs> here to my house. Got He's real freaking bad. out. <laughs> Got really bad. So uh, basically, I'm stuck here for the night, and um, I'm just glad you're not stuck on the trail somewhere. Dude. Like at least this happened somewhere uh, that you had somebody's house you could go to and we could work dude, on it. Go Ben. Instead of just being ben like to the rescue. Out um, there somewhere. Yeah. So we got hopefully AutoZone getting us the correct radiator. I'll believe it when I see it. Just we'll say definitely it. will believe it when we see it. We're taking this one to the store, the old one to the store. Comparing yeah. opening the box there. Uh, compare sizes. Always compare sizes. Oh, got to make sure it measures up gotta make, before yep. it gets installed. Yep, before it goes back in. Um, don't buy cheap Amazon stuff because then you'll run into overheating problems like I did. I'm actually going to make a more legitimate video about this, but just thought I'd go live and tell you guys a little bit you about You can do that after on. like 14 hours of sleep. Yeah. It's been a heck of a day. Dude, I need to sleep like crazy. That's all. Don't buy cheap Amazon stuff or you'll be replacing it again. Look at this. They gave us the wrong one. Not that that has anything to do with Amazon. I mean, I guess it does because the Amazon one didn't work. So I went to AutoZone, they gave me the wrong one. Now they're all closed. Taps happen on a Sunday when everything closes early. Things like this don't happen on weekdays when you could go to the store still. It's true. Okay, and you're right. You can buy factory stuff from Amazon, factory Toyota, but uh, just to be, as since this has been like a week of being honest, let's go in here where there's more light. This has been kind of an honesty week. Um, I replaced my radio, actually, I, it's been in there a while. I think I replaced it back in February, January, February. Anyway, um, I... I bought the cheap Amazon one because I was having kind of a rough month in my business. Business is booming now, so no worries there. But um, I was having a rough time, and so I bought the cheap one just so that I could get myself buttoned up and hope that it would work for a while. And, well, it kind of did, did, slash did not, because my first road trip with it was an epic fail. Um... But that's why I did not get the OEM Toyota was because I was trying to save money. Don't try to save money. Just buy the good stuff. Anyway. Anything else? Buy the right part. And when you get things from AutoZone, I've learned this the hard way with trail repairs, driving hours each direction. Verify your parts at the store. I got stuff in the wrong box. All kinds of stuff happens. So you want to make sure... You can need exactly what you need when you're doing an on-site repair like this. Uh, yeah, mosquitoes. Um, yeah, that's a very good point. Make sure anytime you get a new part, open the box and make sure it's the right part before you start the install or extraction. <laughs> right. Because now you're stranded. Now I'm stuck. Get pulled out. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I guess I could, could put it back in and overheat on my way home, but that's not gonna happen. So, check your box. Check, check, check your box, parts, whatever. Open the box with your parts and check it, is what I'm trying to say. And don't buy cheap stuff. That's all. That's all I have to say. All right. Well, okay. Oh, hat. Yes, I saw your comment, and I just wanted to finish what I was saying. Uh, you got a hat like mine. That's pretty cool. Is it as cool as mine? Because it's pretty cool. If so, I'm very happy for you. Send me a picture on Instagram. I'll like repost it or something. We can do a hat comparison. Almost. Almost as cool. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. All right. Uh, anything else? Any other questions before I sign off and drink another beer? <laughs> I know there's a little delay, so I'll wait a second.
anything? No? That's all right. Well, in that case, rock and roll. This is Dylan. And Ben. Oh, 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 and oh ben. there you are. From Santa Rosa, California, yay. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. If you've seen the movie I Love You, man, you'll know what I mean. Later. Oh, howdy. You can be right at the tail end of the video.